Canadians from coast to coast are upset with Tim Hortons. We've been hearing it online. We've been hearing it on the petition. Well, the man that got the, the Twitter hashtag going when he spotted what was going on the other day is Stephen Taylor. He joins me now here in the, the bunker. That's right. This, this, this is the bunker. We're doing the interview here. Because the rebel bunker. It's raining yeah. outside. Beautiful Ottawa weather turned into beautiful Ottawa rain. Yeah. I don't think Tim Horton saw the rain coming down on them when they, they made this announcement. Essentially, on Twitter, they announced that they weren't going to take Enbridge's ad money. They were canceling the contract. Uh, do you think that they foresaw this? Well, they should have seen the storm clouds uh, coming on the horizon uh, when... Uh, Forest Ethics, uh, an organization known for its uh, agitation. Well, there's also a, a group called Some of Us. Oh, yes, that's via Forest Ethics. Okay. Yeah, so Forest Ethics has been known to uh, agitate on these issues uh, for a while. I, I, these uh, environmental groups, like Forest Ethics, uh, are a recipient of, uh, of American funding. Uh, to uh, cause this sort of trouble in Canada. So I think when uh, this petition happened for Tim Hortons, uh, they probably should have looked at that and said, you know what, we should probably keep out of reacting to people that have a professional mandate to cause reaction. Right. So, Part of your job for a long time, you've been involved in communications, government relations, that type of work, correct? That's correct. All right, so your current company is? Rally Public Affairs. Rally, okay. So if you were advising a company like that and they were nervous and i can understand a company being nervous about being caught up in a political firestorm mm -hmm. around a, a hot sensitive issue so if you were advising someone like tim hortons and and they said oh look there's this petition and we've got a four-week contract with with enbridge and you know do, do we cancel now or do we let let it just go to the end of the contract what would you have said to them i mean i i think you just let it go to the mm -hmm. end and then if you don't want to do business with them, then you don't. You don't cancel it and make a big public announcement. Yeah, you never embarrass the client. Uh, that's the other thing, too. Uh, look, uh, Tim Horn's obviously made a miscalculation by reacting to this. But um, now the other thing is the uh, how, how would you advise uh, on this sort of thing? Look, I think Tim Hortons has an opportunity. Like, we, we can talk about shoulda, woulda, coulda. But right now, now that everyone's had this sort of debate and, and the rest, I think Tim Horton's message should be or should have been that, look, uh, the coffee shop, iconic Canadian uh, tradition, go mm -hmm. for a cup of joe. Uh, and it's a great place for Canadians of all walks and uh, political uh, stripes to sit down and have a conversation. Like the coffee shop is the forum mm -hmm. of, of Canada. I remember Air Farce back they had that. Oh, you that, betcha. Yeah, betcha, right? That mm -hmm. was, but that's where Canadians discuss the issues of the day. So you don't. Tim Hortons could have said, you know what? Because the coffee shop is the forum for Canadian discussion, we don't shut down Canadian discussion. If you want to advertise on uh, Tim's TV, you're welcome to do so as well. But look, we're, we're for encouraging. Uh, this this free forum of discussion. We're not for shutting anyone down. And what could be more Canadian than having a cup of joe and talking about the issues? Uh, I, I doubt there's much that could be, you know, crueler in a double double. Uh, this um, for me, this is very personal. I explained this in another video. You know, being from Hamilton, knowing where all the original stores were, not just the first store, but mm. the first several. The the smell of a hockey arena to me isn't the same unless I can smell Timmy's. Yeah. So this. This bothers me greatly. They decided to, to choose sides in what is essentially a, a political or cultural war. But mm -hmm. let me ask you about this. This is an imported culture war because the groups agitating on this are based in New York City. That's right. So funny enough, when uh, this issue came up, uh, uh, the, the University of Toronto professor, um, his name is Faisal, he he tweeted at um, Tim Hortons to uh, take down the ads. And of course, this appeared like this was, you know, grassroots Canadians uh, caring about the issues mm -hmm. or, or trying to shut down the issues, but still grassroots, perhaps. Turns out uh, the, uh, the gentleman uh, is the Ontario director of uh, the David Suzuki Foundation. And another uh, person who uh, agitated on Twitter to get Tim Hortons uh, to take down the ads to whom Tim Hortons responded to uh, is a senior campaigner for 
uh, forest ethics, which um, I believe is the, uh, the agitator behind uh, the Some of Us petition. Okay, so essentially an imported group of, uh, you know, a lot of groups that take money from, from foreign organizations that are opposed to Canadian oil, mm -hmm. getting a Canadian company to shut down advertising from another Canadian company. That's right. So, uh, look, uh, I don't think Canadians like to be treated like pawns uh, in this sort of game. It's a very cynical one, uh, especially when it has to do with Canada's uh, national economic interest to develop uh, Canadian energy. I think, you know, there's over 100,000 jobs that depend on Canadian en energy, well-paying jobs in Canada. I mean, if you did a Venn diagram of Canadian life, you'd have Tim Hortons and then you'd have Canadian energy production overlaid. Like, those are two very Canadian things. And I don't really don't know how Tim Hortons made such a PR misstep, how they misread their audience to such a degree. I think they can still recover from this by at least acknowledging that, you know, uh, we exist. Uh, <laughs> People who uh, you know turn a wrench, or uh, you know don't uh, work in downtown Toronto, or uh, in the corporate headquarters of uh, of Tim Hortons. I think I think what they did was they actually were trying to appeal to the Starbucks audience by uh, in reaction to uh, this petition by mm -hmm. some of us. They weren't they forgot their base. I mean, it's no. It, well, as I know. pointed out, you can stand at the first door, 64 Ottawa Street North, Hamilton, Ontario, look down Ottawa Street, and what do you see? You see the steel mills. Mm -hmm. So it's a company that was built by serving those that get their hands dirty, Yep. serving those that work in, let's face it, dirty industry. Mm -hmm. Blue collar but, jobs, uh, people that, you know, do an honest day's work. So they, they're, they're trying to appeal to people that probably aren't buying their product anyway. It, what about the, the issue of the fact that they are in Kuwait, Qatar, mm. Saudi Arabia? It, it's not as if that money to put up those franchises to expand into those places is, is not coming from oil. Right, right. So I think uh, Tim Hortons wasn't making a moral judgment or a well-informed political judgment on on the actual issue of energy extraction. It's not as if at the end of the day they were, were really caring about whether or not uh, they were getting advertisements uh, from an oil company or getting pushback from a environmentalist company. They were looking at uh, threats to their bottom line and you know whether those threats came from one special interest group or another. Uh, but really, I think they misread the political situation to go on to what uh, is fashionable am among some people to have this sort of knee-jerk opposition to uh, what is a very honest Canadian industry, certainly honest on the backdrop of the other players in the industry worldwide who, you know, I, I would be an oil worker in Canada before I'd be an oil worker in Nigeria for sure. Yeah. And uh, so uh, they really misread the situation and they really did not know who their base was. All right, Stephen Taylor, thanks so much. The man that got the boycott Tim's Hashtag trending on Twitter. Well, you can do your part. Sign our petition at therebel.media. Just look for the Boycott Tim sign. Sign up because if the silent majority stays silent, then the squeaky wheel really does win, don't they?